some things that I will never be able to adapt in the Netherlands. guys welcome back to another episode of making it in holland if you're new here so nice to have you make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when the new videos come out every week some of you already know me you know that i've been living in the netherlands for 10 plus years so i spent most of my childhood here and currently i am living and working near rotterdam and there are some things that I've really got accustomed to over these years. I mean, I have to admit, I'm becoming more Dutch every day, little by little. Uh, but there are some parts of me that are still very Turkish that I am having a hard time letting go. If you're interested in some ways that I've become Dutch, uh, make sure to click the card above. Uh, there's a lovely video about some money management tips that I've learned from the Dutch over the years. But now let's get into this week's video, which is about some things that I will never be able to fully adapt as a Turkish person living in the Netherlands. The first thing is taking the bike as a form of transportation. Now, if there are Dutch people watching me, you guys probably think this is crazy because everybody in the Netherlands bikes pretty much anywhere, everywhere, all the time. But as someone who's from Turkey, the idea of biking as a form of transport to get somewhere is still so foreign to me. I think maybe because this comes from the fact that I'm from a culture where biking is very much seen as an exercise. So people take out their bikes for half an hour to an hour, exercise a little bit, bike around like my dad does this a lot and just sort of come back home with the bike, park it and then just go about doing your daily life things using either the car or public transport. What I will never be able to do is wake up early in the morning, get my bike and hurry to work and arrive to work all sweaty and everything. I mean, I have colleagues that do this, which I completely admire so much, but this is one of those things that I will never be able to apply to my life. So let me know down in the comments below whether you are actually one of those super human people that take the bike to get to work or are you more like me and you like to use bike more of a leisure thing. Another very Dutch thing that I will never be able to do, even if I try, is plan all my vacations months and months in advance. Now, if I did that, I would probably have a lot of extra money saved up in the bank, but I don't, so I'm such a last minute person. I spend all my money on travel and vacation. Seriously, this is like an act, like a different kind of issue, which probably is better left out to a new episode. Another very typical Dutch thing that I just don't like is having bottles. Now, let me explain what that means. Boro is an afternoon drink. You go out with your colleagues or your friends, usually after work, to grab some small bites, uh, little bit snacks, along with, of course, the national drink, beer. This is something that I absolutely dislike. I just hate the idea of like drinking beer and eating these mystery snacks. Some of them are tasty, but you know, nobody really knows what's in them, so that kind of freaks me out. But the idea of just like standing on a bar drinking beer and like sort of trying to like fight everybody to get the snacks, something I can never get used to. I much prefer, I feel like, maybe that's because I'm Turkish or Mediterranean. I much prefer being like relaxed, being seated, you know, having like a nice glass of wine and like a small something to eat next to it. I feel like this idea of like drinking a lot of beer and eating a lot of snacks and then, you know, drinking a lot more beer sort of just leads to, well, well, let's say. For some, makes a really, really fantastic fun night. For people like me, well, maybe not really good. By all means, there is nothing wrong with going to Borals and having some bites and drinking beer. But if you personally ask me, I much prefer doing the more sit down and take it easy way of consuming alcohol and getting something small and better quality to eat. 
Okay, I'm a little bit hesitant talking about this one because I feel like in the comments I might get a lot of hate, but hear me out. I will never ever go to Amsterdam on King's Day. King's Day is celebrated during the springtime, end of April every year, as a symbolic birthday of the king. It used to be Queen's Day actually. And you know what? It's funny because when it was Queen's Day, I would actually celebrate it more often. And after it switched to King's Day, I don't celebrate it at all. Maybe because they don't make these cute t-shirts anymore that says I'm a queen for the day. Well, you know, those were the times. But a reason why I will never go to Amsterdam on King's Day is that literally there is not like a like a millimeter square of space for you to be able to like walk, breathe, like you just have no personal space. The streets are filled with so many people, the canals even more filled with boats and people, everybody is drunk, everybody's drinking beer, oh my god. I feel like the theme of this video is like how much I don't like drinking beer, but I just hate the fact that navigating already such a crowded, dense city with even more people on such a hyped day is just not for me, guys. Like on that day, I do my best to either stay at home, read a book, watch Netflix, or I strategically plan my holiday if I have one abroad that time usually somewhere nice and sunny where they don't have any kind of celebration so I can get some you know just some space I just need the space really like Amsterdam King's Day if you're a tourist by all means it's an experience uh, if you are an expat and you're into that kind of celebration by all means but I think I'm gonna pass Another super weird Dutch thing that I will never be able to do is when I have guests over, cook just enough amount of food to serve everybody. Like nothing less, nothing more. To me that's considered kind of rude. Well, I come from a culture where plenty and abundance is the way forward when you have guests over. So when you have people over for dinner and people ask for seconds, it's kind of rude not to be able to serve them. But in the Netherlands, everything is like really precisely calculated when you have guests over. Makes sense in a way, but according to me, I feel like the more is the better when you're having people over because it's just about like that experience of eating and laughing and drinking together. So this is something I will never be able to do. Sometimes I cook not enough, which is, well, I guess a topic for another video but I much prefer having an abundance of food just in case people want to eat more. By the way, I'm not even a good cook, so usually sort of I cook something very simple or I do takeaway anyway, but shh, people don't necessarily have to know that. So those are some super Dutch things that I will never be able to adapt to my life. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down in the comments, especially if you're living in the Netherlands, what are some very typical Dutch things that you are having a hard time adjusting to? I go through all of my comments and reply to everybody individually and I will be super curious to hear about what you think and make sure to also follow me on Instagram. I share about my daily life and behind the scenes stuff there daily and see you guys in the next episode. Until then guys, make sure to stay awesome. Bye bye!